In this video series, we're going to explore autofocus tracking on the Canon C70 and put face priority up against face only to see how Canon's own prime EFL lenses respond in each of those modes. I want to give a big shout out to all of our subscribers. You guys are awesome. If you're new to this channel, thanks for stopping by. We are building a community of filmmakers, content creators, and image makers at all different levels of experience where we can share content, knowledge, information, so that we can all level up together. If you're into that type of thing, be sure to subscribe. This video will focus on the Canon 100 millimeter L prime lens. If you're interested in how other prime lenses performed, feel free to jump around the playlist or check out the specific links to the specific lens in the description. This is now the 100 millimeter macro face only. And one thing you need to know about this lens is that in order to get it started, I had to actually have Bert um, try to manually focus so that the autofocus would then engage and then latch on to my face. I attempted to do this on my own and I could not get it to successfully find my face without initially turning the autofocus. So that's something you should know. Second thing that is really interesting about this lens is that exposure affects the performance of the autofocus on this particular lens. Now, of course, the best part about this 100 millimeter macro is that you can get really, really up close and still be in focus. But once it actually does find you, and once it understands what that focal plane is, where it needs to track a subject, it does a good job of actually tracking. So let's switch over to face priority, which for some reason, I found face priority to perform better than face only. And again, as I mentioned, exposure affects the performance of the lens. So that's something that you absolutely should keep in mind. And as you can see here, I'm back in front of the lens and it's taking a minute to find me. And this is kind of what I mean. It's like the exposure is affecting how fast this lens is able to latch onto my face and then actually find the focus. But once it does latch on, it does a really good job of tracking. And of course, the one trick about this lens is that it's a macro, right? So I can get really, really close and still get, um, you know, basically be in focus, which is not something that you can do with every single lens. So I'm glad I ran this test for that reason specifically, because I really like this lens. It's an affordable lens, and I think it's a lens everybody should have in their kit. And as I mentioned, it just does a good job once it finds the autofocus. Quick question, is there something specific you would like to see tested with this lens? Leave a comment and I will do my best and add it to the production list. And that's all I got for this lens, for now at least. Hopefully, this helps you better understand the gear so that you can level up faster. Until next time, remember, it is best to spend time building skills than it is to go out and buy more gear. Take care. I'm Carlos and I'm out.